Hello friends, in this tutorial I am going to show you the use of Wireshark tool for packet capturing and for that I will do a demonstration of DOS attack you know. So I am going to demonstrate DOS flood attack just to show you uh, how packet, cap packet, pack packet capturing tools like Wireshark work okay. So actually uh, I am going to attack do the attack on Windows machine. So this is my Windows machine. Okay. So I am going to open the Windows machine and check the IP address of my Windows machine first. So open the command prompt and IP config. IP config. Then you check the IP address of this machine. 192.168.29.83. So okay. So actually it is 83. Now I will go to the you can see there is a control panel and there are a lot of things here. Like you can monitor everything like appearance everything okay. so you can see the system security and all the things administrative tools all the tool, tools are available the default tools are available inside this operating system this is windows 7 operating system now when you press alt control delete you no know, it's open the process management so you can check processor so just click view processing and task manager so windows taskbar will open and you can see the process here okay you can see this and you can click on performance you can see the performance like how much ram is used how much of uh, memory is used and how much of cpu is cpu uses right now is zero percent ram uses 443 mb only okay so let me go to the kali linux machine and right now from this kali linux machine let me zoom it. I am going to use the tool Hydra. Sping 3. Sorry. Sping 3. So apt install Sping 3. I need this tool. Okay. This tool is already installed. Now I am going to flood the packet. Sping 3 hyphen 1. Remember hyphen 1 stands for ICMP attack. Okay. ICMP flood, uh, packet flooding. So dash dash flood. And then I will do the IP address 192.168.29.83 which is the IP address you can see the certainly one of certain you can see that the CPU uses increases up to 49% which was 0% okay so it was it increases up to 50% 40 to 50% is fluctuating it means the attack is going on okay on that machine now at the same time you can open the wire circuit tool here so let me open a new tool and open the Wireshark, okay, Wireshark to monitor such things. So Wireshark command is used to open the Wireshark. I am going to capture the ETH0 interface, okay. So I selected ETH0 and click on the start button. The packet capturing has started. Now I am going to this machine and I am again doing that attack, same attack, okay. And now what you see in the packet capture, you can see that. How many packets have been sent from this machine? 125 to 83. 125 is the my Kali Linux machine and 83 is the Windows machine IP address. So you can see the number of packets. Okay. So within few seconds, you can see the below the packets, number of packets is more than 2 lakh. Okay. So you can send this a packet and that can be captured by this Wireshark tool. Now I am going to stop that attack. And while I stop, stop the attack, you can see the difference here. Okay. Now I am going to do the different one that is known as UDP flood attack, UDP flood attack and for that what you need to do, you need to change the value from 1 to 2, make it 2, okay. Now this will do UDP flood attack, in UDP flood attack also you can see that its packet increasing and increasing and you can also watch, you can see its recharge to CPU recharge to 80%, okay. And you can see the IP address and the packet, so the more packets, if you watch this packets number of packet more packets has been sent using udp flood attack because udp is a fast protocol and it will send more packets more fastly i'm going to stop this attack using control c now there is another one to see the packet capturing and this time i am going to use that scene flood attack for that i have to use simply minus three here in place of two replace with minus three and now you can see here on the windows machine so it's selling okay uh, invalid option it telling me that it's invalid option it's not able to i'm not able to do this attack here right now 
ओके लेट मी ट्राई अगेन एस पिंग हाइफन हाइफन जस्ट हाइफन थ्री हाइफन थ्री ओके इन वैलिड ऑप्शन थ्री तो वी कैन जस्ट गो टू एस पिंग थ्री डैश डैश हेल्प टू चेक ओके जस्ट हाइफन थ्री इज अवेलेबल और नॉट सो यू कैन गो फ्रॉम हियर एंड चेक ओके यू डी पी टू आई सी एम पी वन इफ यू वॉन्ट रॉ आई पी यू कैन यूज हाइफन जीरो नाउ नो थ्री जस्ट हाइफन एट फॉर एस कैन मोड स्कैन मोड ओके हाइफन एट दैट इज हाइफन एट सो वी कैन यूज हाइफन एट इन प्लेस ऑफ हाइफन थ्री एंड सी वट्स हैपनिंग सो अगेन इट सेंग पोर्ट फ्लड अटैक ओके सो वी हैव टू मैंशन द पोर्ट इन दिस केस ओके सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू दिस वन एक्चुअली दैट्स इनफ एंड वी डी दिस अटैक and we understand how to capture the packets using wire sir while there is some attack on your system or someone trying to attack by just seeing the uh, by just seeing the ip address and number of packets you can understand that someone is flooding packets on you whether it is icmp or udp flood attack okay and you in the uh, in the victim machine you can see the number of cpu or the process uh, processor consumption will increase from 1% to more so you can see by default it is very low very low you know it's zero uh, percent the cpu is very zero percent but when you do the attack what you see that its value increases tremendously okay you can see it's up reaches up to eighty six percent and if you do such attacks from different machine so many different machine what will happen that will be re result in a disaster okay so i have already uploaded video on how to install kali linux and how to install windows inside the operating system inside your windows operating system with the help of virtual box how you can set up your home lab watching that you can set up windows you can set up kali linux and that using that you can do this lab that is dos flood attack we done dos flood attack with the wireshark packet capturing tool thank you thank you for watching